millionaire playboy Gary Hart. I hope Roddy Piper and Bob Armstrong are wrestling or watching this, okay? Well, I feel reasonably sure that they are. And uh, seeing Mr. Hart, uh, you heard uh, Mr. Piper say earlier, of course, that uh, the appearance here on Georgia Championship Wrestling of one Kerry Von Erich is going to uh, create some problems for Mr. Hart, and that's understandable. Gary Hart now with uh, the great Kabuki. And this is one of the most unusual and perhaps one of the most awe-inspiring competitors in professional wrestling today. Uh, there is an aura of mystery about this man, particularly the strange green fog that he emits from his mouth. Uh, he is in his full uh, outfit at this time. He is an expert uh, with the kendo stick, I might add. Uh, a very, very dangerous opponent. He is well-versed in all forms of the martial arts and uh, has been devastating on every opponent that he's gone against thus far. Roddy Piper has joined me once again, and of course I can't help but feel that uh, uh, in this particular case, uh, obviously from past performances, that you are uh, uh, obviously very much in sympathy with the Kabuki Heart situation. Well, absolutely, and I would, I would like to bring to light just one small thing. You know, that's part of my job here is I'm trying to let the people know the little things that they won't realize, and you know, oh, look at that! There's one of the big things they didn't realize. Oh. There's that strange green fog again in Kabuki, literally exploding on Ken Timms, and Timms has had virtually no opportunity to get moving at all as Kabuki moved on him uh, like a typhoon. Is that absolutely a work of art? Is that not the finest thing you've ever seen? Look at that. Right from the beginning, a non, non, non thoughtless attack, non mindless. What he is doing is he has just been trained to go, go, go. He's not thinking. He is fighting for his life all the time. That's what makes him so great. Okay. Beautiful savat. And may I point out, of course, Kabuki, and I've done some research on this man, uh, going for a nerve point now, going for one of the 26 more salient nerve points in the body, and uh, he is, that outfit that he comes out in, I might point out, has been passed along throughout his uh, family and dynasty for over two centuries. One thing I would like to say, you can build every muscle in your body, your pectorials, your biceps, your triceps, your latissimals, but for some reason, you cannot develop the muscle in the armpit. Isn't that strange? Isn't that great to think of? Isn't only one man would think of something like that? And that's the great Terry Hart. Hey, isn't that? That's why he's got such a masterpiece in there. Look at him go. There's no question about the fact that Kabuki is a human destruction machine. I would certainly have to give him all of the credit in the world in that field. And again, inflicting right. pain on Tim. Do you want Kabuki to beat him now, or would you like to watch him a little longer? I can have him to do it just about any time I want to tell him that... For now, he can do it. Just, just a touch longer. Just, just a touch longer, please. You enjoy it, don't you? Ken Tim's taking matters in his own hands now and firing back on Kabuki. Has Kabuki... Ooh! I don't know what you said, but it worked. <laughs> Kabuki now just walking along the road. Crashes down. It is all over. It is all over. And it is... Uh, Kabuki continuing to punish Tims, and it is Gary Hart pulling Kabuki away. And uh, it was amazing to watch this man, Kabuki. He appeared uh, that he was going to go on the defense, and Hart again trying to control Kabuki. Watch this now, as Kabuki caught him, driving uh, the leg and the foot. Now he moves up on that second rope, and moves along that second rope, balancing cat-like on the rope itself and then suddenly crashing down on a hapless uh, Ken Timms, and of course wow. now mercifully putting those shoulders to the mat for the count of three. Wildfire Rich. Let me say one thing. My attorney, okay. Arnold Zigowitz, said, no longer can you borrow Gary Hart from the Omni. You can handcuff me, and you can talk about slapping my face, but when you look into the eyes of the boogeyman, Bob Armstrong, then you are going to know once and for all that you have met the devil and he will destroy you tomorrow night in the Omni.
Bob Armstrong, you talk about racehorses and thoroughbreds. That you are. But when it's over, you're going to be a Shetland pony, brother. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. May I just point out, too, of course, that tomorrow night at the Omni, it will be Dusty Rhodes and Terry Funk going up against Ole Anderson and Stan Hansen. A host of great matches. Tickets on sale at all seats locations. Now listen to...